he will watch us he will watch us over you you will not slumber indeed he who has watched over Israel will never slumber no sleep the Lord watches over you the Lord is your shade at your right hand the sun will not harm you by the day nor the moon by the night the Lord will keep you from all the harm to watch over your life the Lord will watch over your coming and your going both now and forever Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. So our scripture reading, we got it in the book of Kisalom. Yeah. Kisalom is encouraging you and me. The songs they sang so that they can climb the mountain. Yeah. So this song was sung when they were entering a new house. Because they were full of joy and happiness in their life. So we heard that I will lift up my eyes on the mountain. So I will see where my help will come from. But our helper will come from Jehovah. And then when we lift up our eyes, we were standing in the year 2022. So when we lift up our eyes and give thanks to God, in that tall mountain with the Sinai, the tallest one, so that we can see all what God has prepared for us. So the Bible is saying we have to lift up our eyes and look upon the mountain and see where our helper is going to come from. The helper is only Jehovah. So now Jehovah help us and brought us in the year where we are standing now. So we give thanks and praises with songs because we are joyful. He's not going to allow our feet so that we can step on anything so that we can fall down. He doesn't sleep or slumber. He always awakes so that he can look after our life. He is the one who protects us during day and night. If you just look upon your life from the birth when you were birth and not because of our will or because of our power, but because of his will and his power. So God is not going to allow so that our feet can slip or can fall down. He's not going to slip or slumber. He's always going to look after us so that we can follow the right path. Mukima la kunjunga. So he is not going to leave you just like that. He's going to put you on his right hand side so that he can guide you with ever temptation you are going to go through, whatever trouble you are going to face, he's going to hold his hand upon you so that he cannot leave you uh, alone. Because we always pass different kind of roads. Some of the problems are so difficult you can't even come out by yourself. But if God is holding you by his hand, even though you go through an accident which the car is going to be beyond repair, it's not because you are 
wife? No, because God is the one who is protecting your life that you can go forward. My beloved family in this morning. So the book of Israel today is encouraging you to see how we can sing the joyful song. <laughs> 